Hi, welcome back. Um, what we'd like to talk about today is this gradient vector. What's a good way to think about it? Um, so here's the motivating question for what we're going to talk about. So let's say we have some function, f of x, y. So this is a function of two variables, and you're at some point on the, on the function. And we could, we're on some point in the plane. Here we are at x naught y naught. We want to ask, if we're here, which is the right direction to walk in that will make the function value increase as fast as possible? So that's what we're going to ask. We're at this point, and there's some way that we can walk that's going to make the function increase as fast as possible. And so we can ask this question here in two dimensions. We can ask this direction, this question in three dimensions. Which way should we walk in three dimensions to make the function value increase the fastest? But not only which way should we walk, but how, how fast is the function increasing in that way? And the, the key answer to this is that it's completely related to the gradient. Okay, so the answer is that which way should we go? We should walk in the direction of the gradient. And how fast is the function increasing? At exactly this length of the gradient vector, the magnitude of the gradient vector, which I think this is just amazing. So let's figure out why is this the case, right? Why is this the case? Let's go back to our friend this directional derivative. Right, the directional derivative says, what, we, what is the rate at which the function is changing if we walk in the u direction? Okay, and earlier what we did is we saw that we can calculate the directional derivative by taking the gradient vector and dotting it with the unit vector u. Okay, and now let's go back to way back at the beginning of the semester where we wrote down what the formula was for the dot product. Well, the formula for the dot product said the, the dot product is equal to the length of A dotted with the length of B times cosine of the angle between them. So we get length of the gradient vector times the length of the unit vector times cosine of theta. Now, this is a unit vector, so the length of the unit vector is 1. So what we get is the length of the gradient times the angle between the gradient and the vector in which we're going. So how is this maximized? What's the way to make this as big as possible? Well, we have cosine of theta. This, this gradient is fixed. So how do we make this value as big as possible? We make cosine as big as possible. And cosine is biggest, so this is maximized, when theta is equal to 0 degrees, or 0 radians. Right? When you're perpendicular, we don't actually change. Right? The, 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 this, dot product is zero, but if you're going in exactly the same direction, this is going to be maximized when you're going in that same direction. So, if we're going in the same direction as the gradient vector, then that's how we increase our function value as fast as possible. All right, and so we go in that direction. If theta is equal to zero, then What's the directional derivative? It's exactly the uh, length of the gradient vector. So what this says is that the gradient is the direction of fastest increase, and the rate at which the function is increasing function is increasing is given by the magnitude of the gradient vector. All 
All right. So that's what this gradient is, is referring to. This gradient is telling us at any point, the gradient is pointing in the direction the function is increasing the fastest. So let's look at this visually. We can understand this graphically using the contour map. So here is an example of a function. Here is f of x, y. Here's the contour map of f of x, y. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to say, let's say, ooh, let me use a different color. Black is better here. Let's say we're here. And we want to know what direction does the gradient point. Well, the gradient is going to point, always going to point perpendicular to the contour map. So if I'm here, the gradient's going to point in this direction. If I'm here, the gradient is going to point in this direction. If I'm here, the gradient is going to point in this direction. If I'm here, the gradient's going to point here. If I'm here, the gradient's going to point here. So why does that work? The reason why that works is, what is it to have a contour line? What is it to say that this is a contour line of our function? It's saying that the function is um, constant on that line. So in this example, the function value is equal to zero along this line. So if you're going to increase as fast as possible, you need to be going completely perpendicular to this contour line. If you had any direction that wasn't perpendicular, basically you've got some component that's going in the constant direction and some vector that's going faster. You can always go faster by going perpendicular. And so once we have these vectors, what that means is, so you can draw these, uh, contour, these the gradient vector at any point, and then if you connect a whole bunch of them along the way, you get the path of steepest ascent. So if we were here and we wanted to go f up as fast as possible, we would go here. We would follow the path here. If we were here and we wanted to go as fast as possible, we would follow the path here, the direction there. If we were here, we would follow the path in this direction. We would go here, we would go here, we would go here. This is the fastest way from negative 1 to a function value of negative 1 to a function value of 5. Similarly, if we started here and we went in this direction, we would end up here. That would point us this direction. That would point us here, 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 here. So if we follow the gradient vector uh, at, from every point, from one point to the next, we get paths of steepest ascent. Here, here, here. That would be going up as fast as possible. And like that. Um, so that's another way to help visualize what the gradient is doing and use that for something, something useful. All right, um, let's stop there for now. We will see the gradient again shortly. Take care.